Hi, Marion. Uh, thank you for joining me on Testing Insights. It's a pleasure to have you here. Can you briefly introduce yourself and tell me why you're relevant to talk to about experimentation CRO program management? I've been working for the past six years as a CRO manager. I was working uh, for La Maison du Whisky, a uh, spirit distributor in France, uh, quite big uh, e-commerce uh, uh, website. I started working with uh, A-B testing a little bit on my side and then I developed a lot of uh, knowledge by just reading book, e-learning, uh, speaking to other CRO, getting trained by the tool I was using which was A-B testing at the time. I spent four years at La Maison du Whisky and then uh, since two years I'm working same CRO manager for Sage which is a distributor of a SaaS company, creating, editing, um, accounting website, uh, accounting software, sorry, everything to do uh, for a company, ERP as well, HR, payroll, uh, software, etc. So two different industry, um, but very interesting to, to um, have this switch from one to the other. Um, because working in B2C and in B2B is very different. In one, we had to uh, create purchase. Uh, and uh, today, it's more about creating leads. Um, so because it's long-term uh, sales and it's uh, long-term customer value. So that's interesting too. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And, and, and through our previous discussions, you've been talking about um, the way that you're running the CRO program within your current organization and challenges in terms of change management and, and the work. And I do find that on the B2B side of things, when you're running a program focusing on leads, there's maybe a little bit less volumes than on the e-commerce side of, sides of things. It's a little bit less performance marketing driven, a little bit more account-based marketing and, and um, it, it, you know, you're looking at pipeline, you know, uh, revenue and, and win-loss rates and stuff like that. And determining success metrics, et cetera, can be a little bit um, harder, a little bit to, to connect the dots. So my questions are, are, are centered not on those, some of those mechanics, but a little bit about your experience in implementing and pushing an experimentation culture and a program within these within your organizations. My first question is how are you, within your current work in SAGE, how are you pushing the program and discussing, measuring, and proving out ROI for experimentation there? As every department, I'm asked to report on numbers, key numbers, sales, volume, main KPI, um, conversion rates, uh, which I do in a table, the usual, um, table people have to uh, uh, are used to uh, to analyze and see um, we need to do that just for the management I mean it's a requirement they need to talk about number report them themselves to uh, someone else uh, higher so uh, and Sage is a very big uh, organization so that's the must the thing I would like to uh, report on which I'm not doing at the moment well I'm doing it but it's just um, from myself without the help of the rest of the company at the moment it has to get into it i need people to uh, to wait for those results and it's it's an internal newsletter basically which i sent um a video newsletter uh, why video because it's just um first of all we are literally overwhelmed with the uh, email even internally so we don't have time mm. and also i think to um get people to understand and get interested. I think just video is a bit more fun than uh, tables. And also A-B testing is much better when you explain because it's not about only numbers. And what's interesting about experimentation is getting people to understand what's the customer insight you got. So what you've learned that you didn't know before. So I'm picking up two or three, uh, well, sometimes more uh, A-B tests, which uh, I've been running for the past months. And on a monthly basis, I just uh, explain them on the video. Even if they fail, I mean, now we know that most of the A-B test uh, fails. So I want the rest of the company also to understand that. And ideally, um, I want the product, for instance, to get inspired to do their own testing um, on the side or maybe the marketing to reuse it just as the, in an email. Because if we learn something, something from the customer, it's maybe something we want to use. Um, in the acquisition or in 
another step of the inbound. And for the product, for instance, uh, if we find out that uh, one customer was really appealed by one feature uh, of the product, then the product might want to uh, highlight this. What I really want to do is for people to get the insight, to have um, maybe a platform or to gather it all together and to have also people uh, being able to bring their insights because there is a team, for instance, checking like the uh, customer review on product. And that, that's something I'm uh, looking for very often, but I need to deep dive into our review to get them. But usually, um, what, what would be nice is that those people would also bring their own customer insight and we could have this kind of uh, team, uh, product uh, team them. And yeah, that, which is for based on our customer, something easy to search, like uh, kind of a tool. And the rest of the uh, company needs to have the, the uh, every time they make assumption on something about the customer, they would be um, naturally guided to go to this tool or go on my video or ask my team, etc. Yeah, I, I love the idea of the video newsletter. We put together some kind of the PDF newsletters, uh, you know, the monthly kind of newsletters and, and some programs that we run. But the video one is an interesting one. That I haven't thought about that. Are, are you getting good traction on it? Do you, do you test it in terms of like, you send it out and you measure how many people are opening and watching it. And um, sometimes we've done that with the newsletter, kind of just see if it goes out to a group of 20 emails or 30 emails, like what's the open rate and stuff like that. Almost like you would in like an internal marketing program. Are you measuring that or? I didn't test, but I sent survey um, yeah. to get people reaction. Um, I think at the beginning it was very interesting for people to go into, but I think it's just, just like the rest, maybe they, Lost. when they receive it in their mail um, they would then probably look at it watch it maybe not entirely um, but I think the uh, impact it had at the beginning is not quite the same uh, now maybe it's also because it's summertime with these tools my second question is around how you're using your program to affect change management within the organization you know you send out the video you you're trying to get people to think about customer experience and, and gather the insights of the customers. How are you looking at the program of experimentation, the program, as you say, to build up a customer insight platform, database, um, you know, repository? I, you know, how do you see this function as 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 a or this these tools as a function for change management, you know, does your organization through the CRO function, are you trying to expand the way that the company is making decisions more, more broadly? How are you looking at it as a, a mechanism for change, change management? I would like the experimentation to go like uh, all over uh, the company. The thing is, uh, yeah, things are difficult to move. I think education is uh, one of the first things we, uh, we need to put in place and that's why there is a video also but um, it needs to get to even broader than that um, product needs to uh, need to be tested I mean how experimentation is going hand in hand with the agile methodology for instance agile sorry uh, methodology is just because you cut the process in pieces and then you have the time to uh, test everything uh, in the development phase uh, which we do for the website when we uh, recently built up a new um, e-commerce uh, platform uh, in France. But the, pro the product itself is not working that way yeah. at the moment. So um, we have tools to analyze within the product what's going on, but um, and where the customer clicks and uh, where he goes first and uh, track uh, uh, customers' um, navigation on the, on the product. But we don't A-B test it on a, on a daily basis, I mean, at all. Um, so I think that's um, that's really something we should change. Also, another issue that we might have, and I think is definitely not only at Sage, is that we have a governance in um, globally and locally, and both have understood the fact that we need to experiment, whether it's in email acquisition ads, um, acquisition ad, Facebook ad, whatever, uh, website, uh, e-commerce, but then it doesn't communicate enough. So globally, they t 
tend to want to have the same platform everywhere, why locally, um, what I'm trying to do because I'm on the local team at the moment is to have a customer centric view, have a seamless customer journey. Uh, that what really matters to me for the customer, which are in France. It's not product that you buy internationally. I mean, uh, if you're French, then you buy an accounting software, which is French. So, but the fact that we want to uniform, um, to, to, to make the website over the world, uh, kind of the same. It's getting in the way of what I'm trying to do, which is improving for improving customer journey in France, in my website, in my um, product. That's very difficult. Specific to like your, your processes and methodologies of experimentation, are, are you trying to align like on, on like we use globally and locally, we use this one tool globally, locally, we use this, this, this phase gate process. Or no, is it decentralized where you are running your program, you are creating your know-how locally, and it's that know-how is different than what it might be globally? We are getting centralized for very long. It was, okay, team speaking uh, for sure, a couple of tools shared, but some of them not. That's something that it's in a way to get at least uniformized uh, for both uh, local and global and then um, how it's going to be organized later one person in local doing the analysis suggesting a b test and one person globally um, trying to basically do the actual work of getting the a b test in place developing basically it's not only uh, wireframing uh, xd and uh, development and running QA, everything. Well, cool. So my my third question, and I kind of slipped in a question there. <laughs> it was pivot off this, the second one. My third question, I was going to ask you about sort of what you're struggling with lately, but I think because you're working as a CRO and experimenter in France, and, and I've got a little bit of a French connection as well. My wife is French. I spent a lot of time there. And you mentioned just, you know, French people are going to buy, you know, an accounting software from France. I know this type of culture. Like I, I know this. France, Italy, Spain, th these countries can be a bit of a, a black box with regards to the CRO industry as a whole. Speaking from an agency perspective or in, in the US, a lot of these 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 companies will share and talk or work with, with other companies outside of their own local company. But in France, very much a relationship-based economy. You're, you're making deals over an, an espresso. I'm curious, I wanted to ask you about your experience as a CRO in France, thinking about the broader community of, of CRO and the, the ability to work outside with, with partners outside of, of France. And maybe if that's changed with COVID and just what are your perspectives on, on uh, like your of the France CRO scene, if you will. First of all, the, the, the reason why people are buying the accounting uh, software in France is because the legal, uh, legal uh, yeah. regulation is like very, yeah. very different from the rest. So even though Sage is a British uh, uh, public company, it uh, still has to have a team developing product for France. I mean, the CRO scene in France, I think, is not developed enough. We don't have, for instance, French CRO agency just dedicated to, to CRO, just to have people being 100% specialized in helping um, CRO working, maybe training, I don't know. Even in terms of t training or e-learning, like I really learned by myself because I lived abroad and my English was okay, so I could uh, follow e-learning and read articles, read books, which are 100% in English, to be honest. I think it needs development. Um, we are very close to the UK. Business is doing a lot. Uh, is, is, is obviously European and not only France. So it's getting there. But I think it's just a little bit longer than uh, uh, we would see in Germany uh, or or in England or in the US. But it will take time. I mean, I'm 100% sure that uh, it's getting there and um, it will be soon as strong as the whatever exists in the UK. Also, A-B test the tool I'm using. In terms of tool, I think we, I mean, and, and we're good at tech. It's not about that. I think experimentation has not been evangelized enough. And that's what I'm trying to do when I'm uh, participating in podcasts with Experiment Nation or um, I do training from time to time outside of my uh, work hours, and I think that will help. I appreciate you coming on to um, this testing insight. Thank you, Marion, for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ben.